We begin with flood warnings on this weather-worn day. Right now, 12 rivers in western Washington are under flood warnings. The Stillaguamish is among the most problematic right now, as you can see from these photos shared with us by a viewer. We're already getting in photos and videos of houses that are surrounded by floodwaters in the Granite Falls area in Snohomish County. Take a look. Here are photos of homes with flooding in Granite Falls. You'll notice here driveways covered in water. Uh, we're, we have one that shows two trash cans floating as well and nearly half of a car underwater here. There have not been evacuations yet, but police are deploying hovercrafts just in case. And another community hit hard, Arlington. Multiple streets are flooded here. There's standing water underneath the interstate and the river levels continue to rise. WashDOT says right now both directions of State Route 530 are closed between Arlington Heights Road and East Burke Avenue. Communities along the Snoqualmie River are also on high alert right now. The National Weather Service in Seattle issued a flood warning for the Snoqualmie River this morning. It goes all the way until Thursday morning. This is video from Carnation, where the Weather Service says at 58 feet, the river will cause major flooding through communities like Carnation, impacting farms, homes, and roads in that area. The wind and heavy rain are causing problems across western Washington. This tree came crashing down across Aurora Avenue North near 50th in Seattle this morning. This is near Seattle's Woodland Park. An SDOT worker says they had to chain up the tree in order to move it so they could cut through those big branches. The tree has now been cleared to the side of the road. Thankfully, we haven't seen a significant number of power outages as a result of this storm. Meteorologist Kristen Clark is tracking the heavy rain and flood warnings on a dozen rivers right now. Yeah, Molly, we basically have a stationary band of steady rain that's sitting right on top of Puget Sound, right on into the Cascade Mountains, still giving us quite the inundation today. You notice that the northwest interior uh, seeing a break. Forks after four inches of soaking rain fell the past 24 hours. They're on the northern western side of this uh, atmospheric river river of mild Pacific moisture that will continue to inundate Puget Sound and the Cascade Mountains today. Also, our soil is unstable. We have had a report here of a slide, Burke uh, Gilman Trail. Uh, this is on the northwest shores of Lake Washington. Uh, Seattle uh, Parks has had to clean this up. So our, our bluffy hillsides may be prone to this as the steady rain continues over the area today. We've had about a one to three inch rainfall across the lowlands, isolated four inch amounts from the Kitsap Peninsula into Mason County. And as much as six to eight inches of a snow melting rain on top of the Olympic Mountains. And of course, that excess snow melt is really putting pressure on our lowland rivers. We have over a dozen flood warnings, including the uh, Chehalis River, uh, New Wacom, Cowlitz, New Squally, even the Bogashiel, Qualam County under a flood warning there near La Push. Specifically here, we're looking at the Nooksack, Wacom County, Skagit River, and also the Stillaguamish. We just saw those images out of Granite Falls. Unfortunately, seeing some inundation of these low lying areas near these rivers. Basically, a flood warning means the flooding is either imminent and or occurring. Flood warnings also posted here for the Snohomish River, including the Mulpey area, Everett, and these low-lying residential areas and farmlands from Carnation up the Tolt River and uh, the Snoqualmie Falls area as well under a flood warning. So this is all from the next weather maker, this mild plume of mild Pacific moisture moving right into our area. It's getting tangled up with this slow-moving front. So we're going to have to hold on to this persistent band of steady rain rain over the area throughout much of today. You notice how it does trickle to an end by midnight tonight and throughout the day tomorrow our rivers will be allowed to recede and then we will be doing so here after Wednesday morning because we're going to pick up an additional one to two inches of rain easily uh, out of this. You notice that in Tacoma, Chehalis, even Snoqualmie Pass between now and tonight. So these rivers, they are sharply rising throughout the day today, many of which will be cresting either late tonight into early Wednesday morning. Then they will quickly recede throughout the day Wednesday and safely within their banks by Thursday. And Molly coming up, we're going to cover another uh, weather change that definitely helps to ease this flood threat later on this week.